this is me. I think it's apparent I need to rethink my life a little bit. What's my problem? <laughs> another all ears video at Disney's Blizzard Beach Water Park. That's right. We are here to show you all the must-dos and the best things so that you can have the perfect time when you visit water parks at Disney World. We're gonna check out the slides, the food, probably a bucket full of ice cream. I'm really excited. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. How are you feeling? I'm less excited because I don't care for water parks, but I think if I'm gonna have a good time, it will be here. We'll be with you, and we're gonna show you how to have the best time. Yeah, I'm ready, let's go. Blizzard Beach is one of two water parks in Walt Disney World. There's Blizzard Beach and Typhoon Lagoon, which at time of filming has yet to reopen. Interestingly enough, both of them are themed around weather events. This one, Blizzard Beach, so shocker, themed around a blizzard. Very strange, and then Typhoon Lagoon, I'm gonna blow your mind, themed around a typhoon. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. So this is, uh, I believe, to be the smaller of the two water parks. The signature flagship attraction here is called Summit Plummet, which is that 120-foot body slide um, from the top of Mount Gushmore. There's also a lazy river, a water pool, several mat racing and tube racing slides, a family raft slide, a, a couple other slides, a kids area. And a preteen area. A preteen area. So it's a nice water park if that's what you're into. Yeah, this is an Animal Kingdom resort area, so it's closest to the resorts like the All-Star Resorts or Coronado Springs, but not too hard to get around. You can get here by bus from any Walt Disney World Resort hotel. Um, and of course you can always Uber if you're coming from somewhere else or anything like that. And good to note that parking is free here, unlike the theme parks if you decide to drive over. Yeah. We're about to do what's arguably the best thing at a water park. Uh, yeah, arguably. <laughs> All right. I don't, I'm not sure it's, it's arguable. It's my favorite. The Lazy River. Lazy River, as they say in Panda. Here at Blizzard Beach, the river is called the Cross Country Creek. And there are seven different spots around the park that you can get off at. Along the river, there's a couple different tubes. There's these smaller tubes for kids. There's the bigger blue tubes. But we've got our eye on a special tube. Special, a, a tube, a tuber. A tube fur. That was good. That was good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, let's jump in it together. <laughs> that seems. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> Success. Yay. We did it. We're amazing. <laughs> Lazy river, be hero. Lazy river, be hero. Lazy river, be hero. We are going down the lazy river. We're so in slowly. A double two. I know that it's a lazy river, but this seems. <laughs> this is like. It's gonna take us an this hour to get around this thing. Excessively slow. Now, Quincy, we got in this inner tube very gracefully. Yes. Like a swan gliding across the water. Molly and Quincy enter an inner tube. Do you think there's a graceful way to get out? Wow, we are visions of grace and beauty. I... Now that we've done that, do you want to go get some lunch? I'm so hungry. I'd okay. love some lunch. Let's do it. Really worked up an appetite. Yeah, that was hard. <laughs> One thing that really will make your day at Blizzard Beach amazing if you are a water park fan, um, you can book these polar patios for a fee but they come with a cooler in there with some water already stocked. They come with the refillable drink mugs. They come with an attendant that can bring you food. And it's a nice place, especially on like a hot, busy summer day to have like guaranteed seats. And the seats are nice. Like they're plush. They've got actual like cushions instead of like traditional beach chairs. Yeah, and you can see like them that. right here. And um, they will fill up. So if a polar patio is something that tickles you and you think that would be nice for your family, definitely book those early. Molly and I are getting lunch from Wada Wada Lodge. This is the biggest dining location here at Blizzard Beach. There are two other spots where you can get food. That's the Warming Hut and Ava Lunch. This one, however, is the biggest. It's gonna have a few more options than those two and a lot more like lines. So if you're here on a busier day, Molly and I are here on a weekday in September. But if you're here on a busier day and those other places have really long lines, then the lines at Lotta Wada Lodge might move a little bit faster just because it's staffed more. 
The theme of Lotta Wada Lodge, of course, is that that's so fun to say, Lotta Wada Lodge, Lotta Wada, Lotta Wada, Lotta Wada Lodge. The theme of Lotta Wada Lodge is that it is a ski lodge, so you know, after you've skied down Summit Plummet, you can come and rest up, get yourself some chicken strips. Maybe not what you'd typically eat at a ski lodge, but you could get it. There is tons of seating here at Lotta Wada Lodge. Should be plenty. I think at peak meal times on a busy day, this might fill up pretty significantly. Another thing to think about is that it is covered. So if rain does break out, it would not surprise me if a ton of people sort of hit up this area to take shelter. Oh, they have the new Coke machines. All right, so the first thing we have here is the chef salad, which is mixed greens with smoked turkey, ham, bacon, shredded cheese, hard boiled egg, cucumber, and tomato served with your choice of dressing. We went with the ever popular Kins Ranch. Yeah, we thought a salad might be, when you're, I don't know about you, when I'm at a water park, I don't want to eat like a ton of heavy hot food yeah. and then get in the water. That's a recipe for cramps. Um, and then this is their signature flatbread here. This is called the white cap flatbread. It's got a white sauce, chicken breast, bacon, Parmesan, bell pepper, and tomato. I'm actually really excited about this and I hope it's it, good. It smells good. I should also note that in the My Disney Experience app, it says that on the weekends, they do large pizzas as well, which is a really great option. They're only $16.99 for a large cheese or pepperoni pizza. Wow, for your whole family. Which is a really good option if a group of you is coming. Next up, we've got a for dessert slash a beverage because we can't be controlled. This is the peppermint shake, which I'm so excited about. Peppermint is one of my favorite milkshake flavors, and it's September. It is not peppermint shake time of year, so I'm pumped that we can get this because we're at a ski lodge, obviously. Exactly, and we also grabbed one of the souvenir cups. This is actually low-key one of the best deals in Disney. You can get a souvenir cup for $11.50 at a lot of the different places around here, and then you can refill it all day with domestic beer for either $6.50 or craft beer at the places that serve that for $7.50 and that is a very very good deal at Disney as far as drinks go um, it's cute it's got a little Blizzard Beach logo on there it's got little bubbles and things nice plastic cup um, but if you're gonna have a couple of adult beverages while you're at the water park it's a very good deal chef salad time Let's go. obviously the chef salad is nothing that exciting or unique but to be fair most of the food at Blizzard Beach is not that exciting or unique. This is what you think of when you think theme park food. That's the food you're getting here for the most part. Mm -hmm. You know, you can do the big foot long loaded hot dogs, which sounds to me like a nightmare to eat and then get in the water. Sounds good. Um, they have loaded tachos over at the warming hut. They have a chicken sandwich over at the warming hut. But it's mostly standard theme mm -hmm. park fare. I have to say, this is a very, like, like Molly said, very standard salad, but I think we made a good choice here. Like, it's lighter. It's, how you doing over there? All right. It's lighter. Um, it's got a ton of toppings. Like, I feel like it took me forever to read the menu because it had so many toppings. Mm -hmm. Which is awesome because the more toppings, the better on a salad. Yeah. Unless it's like jello. That'd be weird. And they did it, the people. Mm -hmm. Jello people. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is a good salad. It tastes exactly as you think it tastes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not mad to have something lighter. No, me neither. Flatbread time. White cap flatbread. I'm pretty excited about this. Mmm. That's easily the best thing I've ever eaten at this park. Like, I had the honey butter chicken sandwich last time I was here. In the water park video, it let me down. This, I mean, is this a great flatbread in the universe? No. But for Blizzard Beach. No, it's doing it for me. The red pepper. Mm -hmm. It's got a ton of red pepper slices just all over it. It's a very prevalent flavor. It makes it taste like like lighter and it goes really well with the um it's not a, what's the sauce base? I was about to say the the I think why it's better than most quick service pizzas in Disney is its white sauce and mm -hmm. not Disney's um Disney's marinara sauce they use on the flatbreads like at Pinocchio's Village Hoss and at the, on the puffy pizzas like Pizza Rizzo. It's too sweet and it's not very good. But because they're using just a white sauce mm -hmm. and then like a lot of garlic and other herbs, mm -hmm. it's not bad. It's pretty good. I'd, I'd get this again if mm -hmm. I was at Blizzard Beach. And it's not overly heavy like a foot long hot dog or a hamburger would be. Though it is a lot of cheese. Yeah. I don't think you're going to be dazzled with the cuisine at Blizzard Beach as far as the savory food goes. And this is I the best option I've ever had. Mm -hmm. It's not great, but it's. It's better than everything else here that we've tried, so. All right, let's take 
no straws in Blizzard Beach, so I'm going in with a spoon and my mouth. Yum. Is it fulfilling your peppermint dreams? It is. I will say, my standard peppermint milkshake is Chick fil A's peppermint milkshake. Very good. It's only in like December, which is sad. And this um, peppermint isn't the same kind of peppermint. So, this one tastes a little bit more like peppermint toothpaste. But I love peppermint ice cream. When the Christmas season rolls around and they have peppermint ice cream in the store, I buy so much that it's embarrassing, and then usually I forget about it. And then in like April, I'm like, <laughs> a treat. <laughs> but um, this is really good. It's a, uh, it's definitely something that I would get again coming here. I don't know about like a ton of milk in the middle of my water park day, but I'm doing it right now. So don't worry, I did take my dairy pill. But this is fun because like it fits the theme of the water park. It's not something you can get elsewhere like easily or really at all that I can think of outside of the Christmas season. So. That's pretty cool. All right, now that we've had a delicious lunch, it's time to take the chairlift up to Mount Gushmore, Mount Gushmore. and ride some more slides. I'm nervous. This part always stresses me out. I, I'm just glad I'm not doing this on skis. All right, friends, go ahead and take a seat. That part's automatic. <laughs> My feet got stuck. I don't like that part. I don't. I've never been on a ski lift other than here at Have you Disney's not? Blizzard Beach water park. When you're when you're on a real ski lift, you're on skis. Do I look like I could ski? No. Up at the top of the ski lift, there's three attractions. So that one right there that goes whoop whoop, that's Slush Gusher. Then of course the very very tall one starts up at the tippity top. That's Summit Plummet. And then over here is Team Boat Springs. So we're gonna ease into the water slides and start with Team Boat Springs. Good, because I have never done Summit Plummet and I am nervous. It's very tall up there, yeah, 120 nervous. feet. But a, an important thing to note for this uh, ski lift is that you can't have any loose articles. You cannot have a backpack with you. If you are gonna have your phone, like I have my phone in a little around my neck lanyard thing. Um, you can't like hold your phone you need to leave all your stuff somewhere else. You cannot bring that stuff up to the top. Because it could fall and hurt somebody. Yeah. All right, we are gonna go do Team Boat Springs now, which is actually the longest family raft ride in the world. I, we're a family. We are a family. Much like uh, Dom and Letty. Hobbs. Yeah. Look at the back of Everest. This is so cool. It's like we're in a mountain range. We are. And then there's the Tree of Life and Pandora, Floating Mountains. Wow, we are tall right now. Do you think it's something in the mountain range? Because clearly we're part of the same mountain range as Everest right now. Yeah. If you weren't convinced, Whoa. a hair tie. Whoa. Yeah. So we were a party of two, obviously, and yes. they partnered us with another party of two, mm -hmm. and they got in and they were like, oh my gosh, we're huge All Ears fans, yeah. and they were here on their 40th it anniversary. So, cool. so shout out to our new friends from yes. the Raft Ride. Happy 40th anniversary. Yes. <laughs> also, should we take a selfie with this giant Mickey inflatable? What kind of question is that? Okay, hold on. We're back on the chairlift. Back on the chairlift. Quincy's excited. I'm scared. Because it's summit plummet time. I don't like the word plummet. It's gonna be so fun. Okay, I believe you. Are you nervous? Yes, I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. <laughs> what is happening? What is, what is it about fake snowy mountains? That people at Disney World are just like, I'm gonna toss my hair tie there. You know how many hair ties I lose and how much times I need a hair tie and there's Yeah, there's one? no, I got none to spare. I have no hair ties to spare. That is probably one of our most asked questions is what's up with the hair ties on Everest? And we honestly, know. we can't tell you. We don't know. It's time to ride Summit Plummet. So this is also where Slush Gusher is, but we're we're gonna do it. If we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Both of these have a 48 inch high requirement, so 
know that before you bring your kids all the way up here? Yes. Uh, there are stairs back down or there's stairs up if for some reason you're like, I'm scared of the ski lift, but not, but not the, but not the 120 foot water slide. Maybe a ski lift, that's up there. Oh, I'm nervous, that's so high up. Look how high we are. Look at everything you can see from up here. Look, there's Galaxy's Edge. And the Tower of Terror. All right, you ready? No. We gotta go taller. You have to go taller. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm ready here. No, no. You actually hit speeds of up to 60 miles an hour with That's your so body. Scary. That's as fast as rock and roller coaster. But just with your body. But just your body. It's 120 feet tall, but it's actually really fun. I was scared too the first time I did it, and it actually is super fun. Just think, after this, we can eat ice cream soon. Okay. We're one step closer to ice cream. That does seem nice. We made it to the top. Okay, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? I'll go first. Okay, you can do this. Okay. But it really isn't as bad as it looks. I'm for sure gonna have a bruise on my butt tomorrow. My shorts are not in place. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a wedgie situation. Yes. But as the kind lifeguard up there told us, it's only two and a half seconds of actual falling and then the rest is just like coasting. Yep. It's only like six seconds total, if that. And I'm a limb, so I did close my eyes and hold my nose. And um, I will say I opened my eyes a couple times and it was just like water. <laughs> All I could see was water. But you did it! I did it! It's actually very fun. As much as I don't want to admit that anything at a water park could be fun, no. it is. I will say one thing that's nice about Blizzard Beach, even though Quincy or, or I are, aren't as familiar with this as we are like the theme parks, it's pretty easy to navigate if you take advantage of the maps and all the signs everywhere. Yeah, there's tons of maps and tons of signs. So yeah, it's divided up into three slopes for the main water slides and everything. The green, the purple, and the red. And there's all kinds of signs that say what's and what, how to get to each different thing. And then all of it is surrounded by the lazy river and the wave pool's right in the middle. So you'll see signs like this. Just everywhere. Everywhere to help you get where you're going. One thing that's actually very cool about Blizzard Beach that I feel like not a lot of people realize is that, is that there's a very rich backstory. Yes, there is a very rich backstory. So this was started as a ski resort yes. um, because of a freak snowstorm in Central Florida. You know those Central Florida freak snowstorms. And it's always a great idea to build a whole business on a freak weather event. Oh, absolutely. Great idea. Yeah, and so they, they did that. They built the ski resort and it was fun and great, but it's Florida. It got hot. And it melted. It melted. Which is why all of the mountains um, are like partially melted snow because the water from the runoff of the snow is now the water in all the different attractions. And of course they decided to capitalize on that. And they were like, well, it's a water park now. It's a water park now. And luckily the melting is going very slowly. Yes. We are headed up the purple slope right now. This is where there are three different slides, two mat slides and one tube slide. Slide. But all of them are racing slides. And you know Molly and I love a good bit of competition. We love a race. We love a race. So uh, we're going to start with the downhill double dipper, which is a the world's only side-by-side -side tube racing slide. The whole world. The whole world. 48 inches for the height requirement. I got to pick a tube up. Oh. oh this no. is what you were dreading. I hate picking tubes up. Is this fun? Is it fun to carry your own equipment up steps? I'm having fun. It's not fun. All right, Quincy and I are gonna race. good on that one. Who knew my competitive advantage over you would be on water slides? I think we all knew that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're, we're not done racing. 
because now we're going to go do one of the mat racing ones. Yeah. Which I have to say I am incredibly bad at. How are you bad at water slides? I'm, okay, did you not see me trying to scoot off the slide? That's true. Molly scooting off of Summit Plummet is a disaster. The, the guy's just like, he's a little, scoot a little, further, like a little, little, little further, further, a little You're further. You're really close, but like a little further. Like a little more. There are two different mat rides here, snowstormers and toboggan racers. It doesn't have any height requirements, which I find interesting. Yeah. It just says no infants. Oh. So we're gonna do toboggan racers. I'm out of breath from the stairs, by the way. There are too many stairs at water parks. Too many stairs. I didn't, I didn't go on vacation to walk up a bunch of stairs. Yeah. All right. For a safe ride, Yes! Sweet victory is mine! Wow, I don't know what that footage looks like. But Quincy had such a head start on me because I can't get down water slides very well. I, I don't have a good push off, but I went further. But yeah, I didn't make it past Quincy the finish line. Quincy didn't make line. it past the finish line. So. so. We both were victorious in a race. Yes. Which is. Molly turns out to be the mat a pro champ. Professional. And I'm the professional tube champ. Yes. So. Please refer to us as this moving forward. Yes, mat champ and tube champ. Yep. Mat uh, and tube for sure. But we have decided the best way to celebrate our incredible victories Ice, ice cream. cream in a bucket. Ice cream in a pail. You got to get that when you're at Blizzard Beach. It's you, just it's part a, of the rules. It's part of the rules. You have to get a park ticket and then you have to buy a, a pail. That's not true, but it should be. It's pretty true. It's pretty much true. So we're going to go enjoy a Sunday now. If you would like to get the signature treat here, it's over by a couple other food carts. There's Arctic Expeditions, which is a bunch of craft beers that you can put in your cup. There's Avalanche, which sells loaded hot dogs and a couple of other things, or there is icy expeditions get it like ice cream expeditions you get it and they have root beer floats soft serve ice cream a brownie sundae or the creme de la creme the sand pail the sand pail the sand pail it's uh soft serve ice cream waffle pieces sprinkles cookie pieces hot fudge caramel whipped cream and a cherry on top and it all comes in a sand pail literally and i'm excited i'm Jazz. We deserve this as the winners that we are. Yes, we do. Okay, here's our beautiful ice cream treat. I'm gonna get in there. She was a master. She like layered it beautifully. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so much whipped cream. What's nice about this, though, is that <laughs> you could then actually play with the... Yeah. Toy. Yeah. Like, you could actually have your kids take this to the beach. Hey, Molly. Mm -hmm. Are you just using the shovel now? It's easier to get more things in my mouth. I'm getting more cookies because I'm using the shovel. Okay. We had a pretty great day here at Blizzard Beach. Yeah, even I have to admit someone who's not a big fan of water parks on the record saying that multiple times. Please I had a really good time today. I think the great thing about it is that it's not super crowded today. Mm -hmm. There weren't lines for the rides. We did have to carry our own tubes a few times, but not very far. We didn't have to wait with them. So, yeah, I mean, I had a blast. I definitely think it makes a big difference when you come. It's the middle of the week in September, so it's super not crowded right now yes. versus like a weekend in July. It's going to be super crowded and super duper hot. And I just don't think it would be as fun because you're going to have to wait in lines up at the top of the slides and everything. But and I know if you don't live in Florida, September might sound like a weird time to visit a water park, but it was like 90 degrees today. It was lovely all day. Yeah. Uh, they have some pretty fun drink specials and, and refreshments here as well. You gotta love a sand pail ice cream sundae. That beer cup is a great deal if you're gonna be here all day. So honestly, like, I hate to admit it, but I had a nice time at Blizzard Beach today. I did, but I was expecting to. <laughs> so let us know down at the bottom if you want us to go to Volcano Bay. What other places do you want us to explore? Yeah, we would love to take a look around more parts of Disney World and Universal and beyond, maybe. Yeah. But if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Yes, ring that notification bell and also make sure to follow us on social media at All Ears Net. And until next time, I'm Quincy. I'm Molly. And we'll see you real soon. Bye! Bye. Bye.
Want to see more of my videos? Click over here. Want to subscribe? You can do that right here. And also, ring that notification bell to make sure you get instantly notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for following. See you real soon.